Welcome to Excel Campus. My name is John, and in this video, I'm going to share an alternative to a pie chart. So this was a pie chart I saw in a magazine in a flight I was on recently, and it's uh, surveyed, I believe the magazine surveyed some readers to see how long does it take you to decide if you want to see a first date again, which is an interesting question. However, the pie chart doesn't necessarily do a great job of telling the story about this data. I'm not going to say this is a terrible chart, but it is limited, the pie chart is limited on the story it can tell about this data. And of course, the goal of any chart is to tell a story about the data. That is, what does the data mean? And what's the quickest way we can explain that to the reader or the viewer? So this pie chart here is fairly difficult to read and understand. Uh, if we want to determine what the winner is, we really have to look at all slices of the pie here. We can see that 20% is the largest slice. But then if we want to see what second place and third place are, are uh, within this survey results, we have to make comparisons with each of these slices to the other slices in the chart and then also read that category label. So this means our eyes and our brain have to do quite a bit of work here to read this. And of course, that can become tiresome and we just have to spend a lot of extra time to really study this chart. So if the goal is to make it easier for the reader so they can determine some analysis or insights from this quickly, then we want to use a different type of chart. So I'll make this file here available for free download. And on this uh, charts sheet, I've input the data here from the chart and then I've recreated our original pie chart down here, which is from the magazine. And I've also created an alternative to this, which would be a bar chart. And the data is the exact same for both charts, but the bar chart is just much faster and easier to read. We can quickly scan our eye just vertically down this column of bars here and see that this one sticks out the farthest. So this is our clear winner at 20% uh, with a time of 30 minutes or less. We can also kind of see second place here, which is five minutes or less. And we can very quickly determine all that or understand all that by just scanning our eye down this column here of these bars. And this is especially true if we didn't have the values on our chart. So for example here, I'm just going to quickly, I'll just right click here, format data labels, and we'll remove the values uh, or the data labels from each of these charts here. Oops, there we go. We'll just remove these data labels here. And now we can still quickly see on our bar chart which category is the winner. This one here, 30 minutes or less. This comparison becomes nearly impossible on the pie chart over here without additional numbers or additional context to give us the values. And then again, we would have to, once we have those values, we'll still have to scan and make comparisons with all of the other values within the pie. So much more difficult to read here without additional information. So really the only story that the pie chart can tell us is that these uh, categories performed about the same overall across the board. As we're looking at this pie chart here, all of these slices of the pie are pretty evenly sliced here, or evenly distributed. So that's really the only story the pie chart can effectively tell us. Of course, we can kind of see that on the bar chart as well, but we can still determine that there, are, there is a clear winner here and also a clear loser as well. So if the creator of this chart wanted to tell that story, that's the story they wanted to tell, that there wasn't one clear winner here, everything kind of performed the same, then we could use the pie chart. However, another place where we could use this pie chart is if we did have a clear winner. And I've added that over here on this sheet. And I've changed the numbers a bit to show that the 30 minute or less category was uh, included 70% or accounted for 70% of the total responses. And in this case here, a pie chart might be more effective because that's the number we're really going to look at or really be drawn to. Now we might wanna change the color scheme of this chart as well to make that stand out a bit more, but this really tells us that this category is the clear winner and all of the others kind of perform the same and, and weren't really significant in the results. Now again, the bar chart can still tell us that. So the bar chart would still be an effective chart here uh, for, the, for this data set, uh, but that is one place where we could use the pie chart a little bit more effectively. So either we wanna tell a story that they're all, like in this case here, they're all evenly distributed, or if we have one clear winner, uh, this can be a good place for a pie chart. So that's why I said at the beginning, this is not necessarily a terrible implementation. It just depends on the story we want to tell. 
And then another advantage of the bar chart is the ability to sort the data. So I have another sheet here where I'll explain this a bit more. Uh, but in this case here, the data is currently sorted by the amount of time for each category. So we go from the quickest amount of time, which is immediately, uh, down to more than one hour. And then we also have a category for where the person doesn't know. But we could also resort this based on the values. So if I go back up to the data range here, and I've just added this column C with both the time and the category, so the amount of time from quickest to longest. Uh, and then here in this column, we can resort this from largest to smallest. So now we're going to see uh, within our bar chart, we can go down here, we can see what the clear winner is, and then go all the way down to the one with the least amount of results. So the point here is when the reader looks at this, they'll immediately see which of the categories won. I've also just added that number here so you can kind of see the amount of time as well. So that's just a quick way to see how much time this took uh, versus the other ones here. Of course, immediately would be the fastest, but we can also kind of make a conclusion here that these top three results were the fastest amount of times on these categories or on these responses. So that might be another interesting story that we can tell from this data set, where again, when we do that sorting with the pie chart, it really doesn't matter too much here. It's still pretty chaotic and going to be difficult to read. Our eye just can't make those comparisons without looking across each of these categories here. Our eye is just gonna have to go everywhere and do a ton of work to sort all of this data in our head. And really, we just want something like this. In our head, we're going to uh, basically create a list that's going to look like this anyways. So the point here again is to just not make the user or the reader do all of that work and give them a clear story of what you're trying to tell or a clear picture of the story you're trying to tell with this data. So I hope that helps. If you have any suggestions for other types of charts you might want to use for this data, please feel free to leave a comment below. And in this video, I went into a lot of theory here because I believe it's really important to take the time to read your data and understand it before spending the time creating a chart if that's not the right chart for your story. But if you'd like to see how these charts were made, please leave a comment below as well. And I'll do some follow-up videos to show how to create these charts step-by-step step in Excel. If you enjoyed that video, there are a few simple things you can do to help me out. If you are watching this video on YouTube, click the like button below the video and leave a comment with any questions or feedback. And please don't forget to subscribe to my free email newsletter to get more tips and tricks that will help you learn Excel. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.